Hello, well, on this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break, we're going to be trying a beer called Lemon Cello IPA. It's actually a collaboration. It is a product of England uh, by Siren Craft Brew, which I've never heard of before, but must be in England if, if it's a product of England. Uh, it was also in collaboration with McKellar, as well as a very highly sought after brewery uh, these days, Hill Farmstead. Um, so, interesting thing, it is a 9.1% alcohol by volume beer and obviously it's an IPA and it says right on the front I'm not going to read flavor notes or anything yet um, ale brewed with spice and natural flavor um, just, just at the gym working out so after losing all those calories I figure what better thing to do than to replace all those calories with probably a lot more calories by having some beer <laughs> it makes sense in my mind just go with it people alright crack that sucker open give it a nice pour Oh man, it's already pouring some nice head. Yeah, look at that. There's some serious head on there. That is cloudy. That is a cloudy beer right there. Can't see through it, very hazy. Um, I don't think it's just a chill haze, I think it's just a hazy beer. Um, nice big white pillowy head on there. Very orange. Whew, I do smell lemony note. Ooh, it smells very hoppy too though. There's a little bit of a vegetal note to it, like, I don't know, I'm trying to, like, greenery. Um, it's not, gra well, actually, there's a little bit, bit of grassiness to it. But other than that, um, just people, when they say in general, like, vegetal, what I think of. Mm. And there's lemony, and there's other citrus as well, kind of orangey, very juicy, though. All the citrus coming out of this is very, very juicy. It has a bit of a tart note in the nose to it. Mm. It smells really good. I'm inclined to taste this sucker. Oh, woo! It is tart, actually. I'm glad I said I was picking up um, tartness on the nose because it's a tart beer. Um, there must have been some sort of uh, lactobacillus or or some sort of Britannomyces. I don't know some sort of um, bacteria in there that they intentionally use to to make it kind of sour. It's probably why they're calling it lemon cello because lemon. Um, I guess not like it matters that it's on screen, but um, I guess it makes sense why they're calling it lemon cello. It's very tart, like a lemon type tart, um, so it would definitely fit with that name. But mm, I'm getting like a pretty significant bitterness on the end, but the how the tart is very aggressive at first, and then it just kind of like slowly fades down to the um, the bitterness. And it's actually working quite well. Um, it's a pretty well-crafted beer, in my opinion, and it, I think it's one that I could definitely drink a lot more of. I will be sharing this with my wife. This was actually her pick at the liquor store. She was smart enough to say, oh, this beer uh, was done with Hill Farmstead. Got to try it. Because we do not get Hill Farmstead here in Maryland. We just don't. Um, so if we see anything that has Hill Farmstead touching the beer in any way, shape, or form, that's a plus. Um, this it lists ingredients, which is great: malt, water, yeast, hops, lactose. Well, there's lactose, uh, lemon zest, and juice. I'm assuming some sort of citrus juice that they actually put in it. Probably lemon. Um, it's imported by Sheldon Brothers. If anyone really cares, um, the idea of creating a hugely drinkable version of the Italian sipping drink lemon limoncello inspired the three brewers of Siren Craft Brew, McKellar, and Hill Farmstead to craft a beer that doesn't fit a strict style category. Lemon Cello IPA, only hinting at the amount of hops uh, used, this IPA has a malt base of Pilsner and wheat to create a subtle cr crisp backbone that goes through a 24 hour souring process. Added lactose provides sweetness while lemon zest and juice offer counterpoint and balance. To finish all of the lemony citrus hops are added in by the bucket load to create an unbelievable gem of a beer. I wouldn't say it's an unbelievable gem of a beer. It is a quite good beer, though, and I would recommend it to anyone who's interested. Um, I do like how kind of the Pilsner and the wheat in there is a really kind of soft stage for the sourness to kind of showcase itself. But it doesn't overtake it. Like I said, you know, the transition of, you know, the aggressive sour and then it just kind of fades and goes to like a nice bitterness is really good. So Lemoncello IPA, Siren Craft, Brew, McKellar, and Hill Farmstead. Good one. If anyone sees it around, pick it up. 
Thanks for joining me for another um, Brutal Battle Beer Break. Till next time. <laughs>